Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Encinitas. We're the daily podcast that gets you started on the right foot and always with a positive vibe. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Wednesday, January 17th. You'll be interested to know. On this day, 81 years ago in 1943, the Casablanca Conference took place in Morocco with Roosevelt and Churchill forging critical World War II strategies, including a focus on weakening Germany and aiding the Soviet Union. They planned invasions in Sicily and Italy and notably adopted the unconditional surrender policy. Now let's check out the weather in the North County area. This morning, it's mostly cloudy and 51 degrees with 90% humidity. Tonight, the sun will set at 5.07 p.m. and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.50 a.m. It looks like we're in for some patchy fog before 10 a.m. Otherwise, partly sunny with a high near 60. Calm wind becoming west around five mile per hour in the afternoon. Tonight, a slight chance of showers, patchy fog after 4 a.m. Otherwise cloudy with a low around 54. Calm wind and chance of precipitation is 20%. And now the surf report. From Wednesday onwards, a new west-northwest swell brings slightly larger waves with me to waist high surf common and select spots reaching chest to shoulder high. Light wind in the morning shifts to light onshore in the afternoon. Looking ahead, Thursday and the weekend expect larger waves with chest to shoulder high surf and some areas seeing head high or more. Early mornings might offer cleaner conditions despite cloudier skies and potential rain. In Del Mar and North County, it's looking two foot plus and clean in the morning. Size gradually improves three to four plus into Thursday. The first low tide Wednesday will be one and a half foot at 8.19 a.m. with a three foot high tide at 2 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 59 degrees for the water temperature. In the national weather, Dangerous wind chills and record-setting cold temperatures continue for the center of our nation. Meanwhile, snow will accumulate across the eastern Great Lakes and northeast corridors through today. More lake effect snow, downwind of the Great Lakes are expected through midweek. Isolated severe thunderstorms possible for central Florida today. A strong storm will approach the northwest today. And now a greeting from our sponsor. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in the divine experience of their amazing Hags Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them Sunny sent you. In top health news, today we spotlight blueberries, a longevity superfood. These low calorie, nutrient rich fruits are packed with antioxidants, particularly anthocyanins, which bolster cell health and DNA repair. Blueberries are known for enhancing eye health, aiding muscle recovery, and improving cognitive function. Studies also suggest they help delay mental aging and manage cholesterol. Doctors recommend incorporating blueberries into a balanced diet for overall health and longevity, alongside good sleep, regular exercise, and stress management. Now let's talk science. Paleontologists recently unearthed the oldest fossilized skin ever discovered, dating back almost 290 million years. This remarkable find from a reptile-like creature surpasses the previous record holder by a staggering 130 million years. Located in Oklahoma's Richard Spur limestone cave system, the fingernail-sized sample, preserved in clay sediments, offers a rare glimpse into the skin structures of early terrestrial vertebrates. The skin shows pebble-like scales and hinged regions between epidermal scales, 
similar to those in ancient reptiles, like dinosaurs and crocodiles. Researchers believe this early skin type was pivotal in the transition of life from aquatic to terrestrial habitats, laying the foundation for the evolution of diverse species, including birds, mammals, and modern reptiles. Interesting. And in business news, in a significant development for the airline industry, a federal judge in Boston has blocked JetBlue's proposed $3.8 billion acquisition of Spirit Airlines. This decision caused Spirit shares to plummet by 47%. The ruling raised concerns about potential fare increases for customers and substantial debt accumulation for JetBlue. Despite the setback, both airlines expressed their disagreement with the ruling and are considering their next legal steps. This lawsuit, initiated by the U.S. Justice Department in March, marks the first attempt in over two decades to halt a merger in the U.S. airline sector. The Biden administration emphasizes the need for increased competition in the industry to benefit consumers. The U.S. airline market has seen significant consolidation over the past 20 years, with 10 major airlines merging into four dominant carriers. This trend has led to increased profitability, but reduced options and potentially higher fares for travelers. The JetBlue Spirit deal's blockage reflects the current administration's stringent stance against mergers that could limit market competition. In crypto prices, Bitcoin is hovering at $43,350, Ethereum is at $2,600, and Solana is down a bit to $98.50. Now on to sports. In NFL news, Welch rugby star Louis Ree Samet, at just 22 years old, has made a surprising switch from rugby to American football, joining the NFL's International Player Pathway Program. This move comes as Ree Samet was at the peak of his rugby career, with 31 caps for Wales and participation in the British and Irish Lions Tour. Gloucester Rugby, where he played as a winger and fullback, supported his decision and released him from his contract. In the NBA, Last night, the Clippers at home beat OKC 128-117. to And tonight, the Lakers are at home to take on the Mavericks. In national hockey. Last night, the Ducks on the road lost to the Capitals 2-0. And the Kings also on the road lost to the Stars 5-1. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio in your area to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in North and South County San Diego. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits, connecting Pilates to enhanced core strength, improved flexibility, and better posture. It's a well-supported avenue for physical and mental health in just a few dedicated sessions. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Salona Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Be sure to tell them Sunny morning sent you by. And now back to the show. In local news, California is grappling with a rise in spoofing incidents where fraudsters impersonate banks or businesses to scam people. These sophisticated scams have led to significant financial losses. California Coast Credit Union advises caution when receiving suspicious calls seeking personal information recommending immediate disconnection. Individuals targeted by these scams, often using data from the dark web, are urged to report to the Federal Trade Commission. Financial institutions are also providing preventive tips on their websites. So check in with your bank to keep up to date. And in entertainment news, the 75th Emmy Awards, hosted by Anthony Anderson, 
recorded a historic low in viewership with only 4.3 million viewers and a 0.85 rating among adults 18 to 49. Despite being Fox's most watched Monday unscripted telecast in over eight years, this marked a decline from the previous year's Emmys. The event featured diverse winners and TV reunions from shows like Martin and Grey's Anatomy. HBO led with 31 awards, including six for Succession, while Netflix's Beef secured eight wins. The ratings drop suggests changing audience preferences for award shows. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today's quote comes from our 26th president, Theodore Roosevelt. Teddy said, Far better is it to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much, because they live in a gray twilight that knows not victory nor defeat. I love it. I'm pumped now. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends. Whether you're heading to work, an event, or just enjoying the day, stay safe and enjoy yourself to the fullest. We'll be back tomorrow with another Sunny Mornings podcast. Thanks for tuning in.